All right, let's go. Now, if I remember correctly, when we left off last night, we were in the wheelbarrow? Or were we in the on foot? I don't remember. We were either in, the, either in the wheelbarrow or the on foot. And we were headed back to the scrap station prior to taking the wheelbarrow and going to mess up a K that was in system. Because now that we own the system, K's are not allowed to exist. I mean, they never were allowed to exist there, but now they're definitely not allowed to exist. Hello, I'm Melted Igloo. Welcome here. Yes, there is indeed a K wandering. I noticed it last night just before I ended, so. K's can exist outside of my systems. Inside my systems, they're not allowed to exist, to be clear. We're not going on a giant K hunting trip. <laughs> but anyway. I don't know if you were here last night or not, but I did manage to get a hold of my very first system. We destroyed all the Xeon stations inside of it, or at least all the ones that had a uh, admin center. And then uh, we built our own admin center. Hello, Asher. Welcome here. I get 50 yet. Oh, nope, nope. We're still at 49. Although sometimes I'll sit down on my computer in the morning when I get to work and I'll notice, at least, well, I say sometimes, it's happened twice. I'll notice that somebody followed in like the early morning or something and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Of the number of people who stop by, usually very few of them follow. That's just... Just watch any streamer and you see a raid come in, you'll see the same thing. It looks like a lot, because usually raids are fairly large when, well, you're watching a large streamer. There was a K here last night. Oh, there it is. K. Anyway. Hopefully we get another follower today, and then we'll be at 50. Yay! But anyway, I ended last night's stream in a very good mood because when we took this system, all my scrap tugs started working again. So we're currently chunking up this Xeon defense station and hauling it away. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else going on here? Uh, just some fighters and stuff. We need to build a defense station here. We need to build a defense station here. It's my system. We can't have this going on here. Uh, if I'm going to build defense stations, I need another... I either need to hire a ship or I need to buy another construction ship. I'm tempted to buy another one? How much money do we have? Six, uh, six million. Okay, that's quite low. I'm tempted to buy another ship anyway. Requesting immediate backup. Because we kind of need it. Okay, which way is this thing facing? Uh, 
You know what? Screw it. We have longer range than it has. As long as it isn't facing toward us, we're good. Need to put more time into this game? I don't know. How much time are you putting in? <laughs> okay. We want to go no closer than 6k. I think 5.5 or 5.4 is the real danger point. Explosion imminent. <laughs> Mostly leave it on in the background so you don't have doesn't have a load screen. I can feel that. <laughs> you get frustrated because you want a bigger ship, but that takes patience. Well, you just need to find yourself a money maker. Depending on how early you are in the game, there's some, some things are definitely better than others. Let's go pick up the loot. Yeah, the loading screens for this are definitely a pain point. K. Oh, well, there's a scrapped K. Or a scrappable, okay, I should say. Um. I don't really want to deal with any of this at the moment. I mean, we're going to have to park the carbon broadhead here eventually. And probably both destroyers and then start building a station, but we need a lot more money for that. Thank you. Anyway. Let's head back to the station at slow speed because I'm in no hurry. Or rather because I have other things to do while we tail back. Namely, I want to check how far along we are. Okay. There's our admin center. Very important that we maintain that because we want to keep control of the system. I did remove a couple of my scrap recyclers to fit it. But we're going to have to add those back later. Um, I do believe we are currently low on energy cells. Yeah, we are consuming faster than producing. Which is fine, because we're building more of them. But it'll take a while before this station starts actually operating at capacity again. Um, I think we need six more recyclers before we can actually keep up with the processors and then we'll probably need more solar panels for that too yeah we're definitely gonna need more solar panels for that but anyway and we bought the blueprints yesterday to get food going and maybe medical supplies Because I want to get people living on my station as well. This thing is going to grow much larger in the near future. Meantime. Let's get rid of... This Xeon power plant. Solar power plant. The Xeons have a station in my system. They're not allowed to do that. Um, it's just a power plant, so we're not going to need the carbon broadhead available. We will want to call the dragon down. There we go. Alright, let's go blow up this station. With both the wheelbar and the dragon shooting it, it should go down fairly quickly. Yeah. 
wonder how much. Here, can we select this thing? No, we can't. Not this, not from here. Uh, there's quite a lot of defense drone carcasses that hopefully they ignore. Also, let's give an order to dismantle that direct there. Um, I think that's a medium ship, so they can haul that away without problems. Anyway. Hmm. Requesting immediate backup. M. Oops. M. Okay. Let's go kick butt over here first. I'm not really in too much of a hurry to get rid of this station. I mean, I kind of am, but I kind of am not as well, because I don't think Rex lasts forever, and I do want to scrap most of this stuff, because, well, it's scrap. This scrap cube has been hanging out for quite a while, which makes me think that maybe scrap cubes don't despawn after all, like I thought they did. P. Requesting immediate backup. All right. Fly into me, M's, and run straight into the glory of my marvelous flax. Destroy Magnetar. over here. P. Magnetara. Oh. We need to get those defensive stations up soon. Oh. That P decided he was going to go on a journey. Use throttle a little bit so they can catch up to us more easily. Um, yeah, we need to get the carbon broadhead down here. Park the carbon broadhead there. Dragons in place, or so it says. Yes, it is. Okay, I don't want to get the dragon involved with all this little mess because they have very few. Um, they don't. They only have two pairs of flags. It's quite good against stations and other big ships. It's very bad against fighters. Which is unfortunate, but hey, not everything can be good at everything. Um, I should probably actually drop a bunch of Mark II laser towers in front of this gate. That would help a lot. How many do I have on board? A hundred of them. Okay. fly over there and drop a bunch of laser towers. Now that I remembered laser towers are a thing that exists. Uh, I'm tempted to order the dragon to attack this station, but I don't know if I can trust the AI to not just go kill itself. We need to get the carbon broadhead down here. It's coming. These 
Xenon scum will not be allowed to damage stuff in my system. Not that I'm going to be able to effectively stop them for a while, mind you, but it's the thought that counts. Looks like we have quite the crowd of admirers. Um, this is where I wish I had some large fighter wings I could deploy. That mana core. Yeah, he's right in the thick of it. Dummy. Thankfully, there's nothing too close to him that isn't distracted by defense drones. Um, come on. Get to where you're supposed to go, Carp Broadhead. Are they doing effective damage to anything on board. Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, I don't see any dead flax or anything like that, so... Our turrets are more vulnerable than our hull itself is, so... We do need to be careful about things. No, I just realized something. This is my system. That means we're no longer going to have Argon police here. That is both bad and good. Good in that I don't have to worry about random police stopping by and saying, hey, drop your illegal stuff. And bad in that now I'm not going to have anybody to help me defend the system. I really need those defensive stations. <laughs> Suddenly, they are something of a high priority. Also, I need more ships that I can deploy here. Um, let me see. I have the, the Ballista 90 pound. We'll order him to come in too. Okay. Let's check to see what his captain's like. Um, not very skilled piloting, decent at morale. Okay, let's talk to Can him I help? and give him some piloting seminars. The Ballista 90 pound is my uh, anti-fighter gunboat. If there's a scrap station, you would ironically want a lot of Xeon K and I to fly into your defense station? Yep. I'm perfectly fine with stuff attacking my defensive stations. I just need to have defensive stations there so they can attack. <laughs> okay, I don't have a piloting seminar I can give him. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely, I hope definitely to keep continue being attacked by Xeon. Just, you know, I want to have it under control. <laughs> uh. Awaiting orders. 
Okay, Gumption's Gambit has cleared that fighter out. Yeah, I'm going to keep a few medium combat ships back this area that I can use to uh, jump on any fighters that are getting rambunctious and that kind of thing. Uh, there's quite a lot of P's and M's over there. Okay. Fuck in the loot. Give me the loot. All right. We'll put laser towers here as a temporary defense. The carbon broadhead can fly in here as a temporary defense. We're going to need to keep the wheelbarrow or the dragon, or both, near the carbon broadhead to rescue it from any caves or eyes. Probably the dragon, because the wheelbarrow is faster and can get places easier, whereas the dragon's better to have just sitting someplace waiting. When it's not like killing a station or doing something important. The dragon's very powerful, and I quite like it. It's just it's slow, and, well, it's slow. <laughs> it's slow, and it can't protect itself against fighters, I guess is another thing. Oops. Explosion Okay. We'll just drift around here for a while. This should at least slow down any fighters. Laser Tower Mark II. Let's just order a whole pile of them deployed. There. All right. Let's just get these things going until it stops dropping them. Okay, it's still deploying. Laser scoper. <laughs> Lower. Yeah, we just kind of want a big mess of laser towers randomly scattered in the area. This should at least help with the occasional random M and N or something that comes through the gate. 
Obviously, it won't do anything to K's or I's, but. Awaiting orders. Oops. Um. What the heck? What in the world happened here? Something must have been blasted off into the distance at incredible speed. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, that piece can have a bad day. Ba Boom. I hope that my view of this system isn't permanently messed up. Okay, it isn't. It just went back to normal. Thank you. Yeah, thankfully, it went back to normal. Okay. Level out a little. Uh, how close are we to having our full string deployed? Yeah, laser towers backed up by the carbon broadhead. Carbon broadhead actually looks like it's in position for once. We should probably put more laser towers over here. We'll do that later. How is chunking this thing going? Either they're hauling away the scrap cubes as fast as they're being produced, or it hasn't been doing anything. I should fly up there and see what's going on. Um, where is the on foot? Yeah, there's the Blistum 90 pound. Let's remove his orders. Okay, here's the on foot. How is it doing as far as health goes? Uh, 96% haul. Okay, so it's been repairing itself, apparently. Still deploying laser towers. Are we done deploying laser towers? Uh, we're getting pushed by a freighter. Let's get out of here. We've got enough laser towers deployed for now. Go get rid of this station. Okay, we'll park on the one side, we'll park the dragon on the other, and we'll just let them shell away. I'll use the uh, wheelbarrow's main guns, probably. The dragon can just use his turrets, because while its main guns do add a significant amount of damage, it also adds risk of having the AI do whatever it feels like doing. Which reminds me, you to install that AI mod that was recommended a while ago. Supposedly that makes AIs attacking things a little bit less stupid.
we need to get to about six kilometers for the dragon. Although we don't actually want to get that close because this side of the station sticks out farther than the other side. So we'll have to judge our distance manually. And the station's distance is from the center, so you can't trust that distance. We'll just get close enough to let the plasma start firing, then we'll kill the engines and we'll teleport over to the dragon. Okay, that's plenty good. Alright. Remove all orders. Um, he doesn't have any orders. Alright, teleport two. Now we move the dragon in. We're going to go sit over here on the side of the station. <laughs> the old tried and true, wait for the turrets to fire and then unload the main guns. Unfortunately, the main guns on the wheelbarrow are much shorter range than the turrets I have on it. That works really good for this ship, the Dragon. But not quite so good for the wheelbarrow. When we teleport back over to the wheelbarrow to use the main guns, we'll have to continue moving in some more. So we'll have to use the old do the aim dots turn white method. Works well for the Asgard. The Asgard, you could actually fire the main guns before the turrets could fire. <laughs> as long as you only care about the... Oh, wait. I think it's... Actually, I'm not sure about that. I might be wrong. Now I think about it, I don't think the Asgard's main gun is actually that much longer range than the... The big main gun isn't much longer range than the small main guns. I don't have an Asgard yet, so I haven't tested it. And it's probably going to be a few weeks before we get an Asgard at this rate. And again... Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Leave on seat overnight. I could do that. However, okay, that's plenty good right there. We'll just let the dragon do its thing now. Um, the problem with leaving it on Sid overnight, that's a perfectly valid strategy. And I would kind of be tempted to do it. However, oops. however, I'm disinclined to do it. Because um, so far, the entirety of this playthrough has been streamed, except for like five minutes of flying once, where I was just taking it back to a station. And a few minutes of flying another time, where I was had to go someplace to install a mod. Basically, I had to go and uninstall the um, upgrades from all my ships, so that the upgrade mod could be installed. So, I kind of want to continue with that. Play as much of it as possible in real time and stream it all. But yeah, CETA overnight would definitely be a, a more valid way to get stations built quickly. <laughs> the Asgard main gun is much longer range. However, I tend not to use it on stations unless the gate's secured. 
That's a perfectly valid thing to do. And makes perfect sense. How is... 89% haul. Okay, we're doing work. With these angles, I can see the dragon firing. Make sure it's still doing its thing. You know, you use SATA for when you know stations are going to take hours to build? Yeah. For me, because I'm streaming and because I don't want to do lots of stuff off stream, just because we just have to wait those hours. And yeah, it kind of sucks, but hey. <laughs> Save the main gun for any Xeon cap ships may stick their nose in. Yeah. I saw an AI Asgard use a use the main gun on an eye. Took it down to 25% haul, and that was with no upgrades or anything installed in the main gun. So I imagine if you stick an upgrade on it, you could pop pretty much anything in one shot. I need to get myself one. <laughs> but for that, we need a shipyard, and we need a lot of money. That'll be a while. So far, I've only used Seda for one thing. And that was um, taking out a station once. Repositioned the ship in place, ordered the AI to shoot, and then... Turned Seda on. That was before I had upgraded the main guns. And before I had the dragon. Basically, it took way longer to kill a station. Let me... Oh, there's a K. He'll be busy over here for quite a while, though, so we'll go get him after the station's gone. Actually, we could leave the dragon firing at it and go take care of the K right now. Um... Nah. Hello. Bunch of co-workers are here. We're blowing up a station. I actually captured my first system last night. I can't do Okay, 75 almost. Yeah, there we go, 75% on the station. What all does the station have on it? Got this one's almost dead. Because the lights have turned off on it. Um, two solar panels, a storage. Um, it looks like a dock here. I think these are docks anyway. And these are just defensive pieces. So, yeah. A Xeon defense platform has one of these and four of these. So this is one extra defensive platform and two solar panels and a storage larger than a defense platform. Anyway. This is about ready to go. Um... Okay, we're going to want to pop up a little bit over top of this and then shoot over top the wreck. Oh, there goes the docking thing. And here goes our piece we're shooting at. Yeah, we're going to want to pop up so we can hit this piece. 
The dragon is doing the thing I expected it to do and shooting the solar panel. Solar panel won't last long though. All right. We need to be careful that we don't get too close and we don't want turrets shooting us because the Xeon Graviton turrets tend to smart considerable. And I like my ship to be in one piece with full shields. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Um, we are still out of range of the main guns, apparently. Here we go. Kill the engines. Oh, hello. Take these two turrets out, we should be safe. Thankfully, our main guns are pretty epic at the moment. probably continue rising because I, I think I'm hitting the, uh, the wreck a little bit with the bottom plasmas. Yeah, I think the bottom plasmas are hitting now. Yeah, they are. Okay, good deal. Okay, dragon still shooting. Looks like four guns are firing. We might have to go move the dragon. Yeah, we're gonna have to go move the dragon, I think. We'll wait until after it takes out the solar panel, though, because the solar panel is fairly weak. How's that K doing? The answer to how that K doing is K is doing appears to be very poorly because I don't see it here at all. Um Yeah. Oh wait, no. Where'd it go? It's just in the middle of the blob, okay. Okay. I'm really glad that I've managed to get these main guns upgraded to the max. They're kind of OP at the moment. <laughs> I need to get the same level of upgrades onto the dragon's tur turrets. The problem is, upgrading the main guns on this is four upgrades. Upgrading the turrets on the dragon is eight upgrades. Explosion imminent. And that is a considerable amount of pain. Okay, we're going to have to move the dragon now, probably. We'll see. Here. Sin. Who is firing? The forward guns are firing, the rear guns are not. Same for the bottom. Forwards are firing, rears are not. Okay, we need to teleport aboard the dragon, move it up. Ok, 
Okay, let's move. Solar power plant. Um, we're gonna go around to the back side. Bring around to the back side. We hit the um, the storage, the last floor panel, and one of the um. What do you gotta call it? Okay. There we go. Move a little bit closer. That's probably plenty too close. And yeah, let's go back aboard the wheelbarrow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it looks like at least six shots are coming off. Of the... Oh, we gotta move the dragon again. Sin. Only two guns are firing. I thought I had a good spot for it, but I guess not. Fly over this way a little bit. Guns are shooting. Rear gun, forward gun, rear gun, forward gun. Okay, top guns are all shooting. Bottom guns are all shooting. All right. Rattlesnake. Hopefully, they continue to all shoot when I get over to here. change targets to this one out here because this is hard to be harder for the uh, dragon to hit 41% doing pretty good um, actually this one here is almost ready to let go because lights aren't on anymore Yeah, there we go. Danger. This Xeon bunch needs to go. Let's take the wheelbarrow over there as soon as the station's gone. Mm 
Okay, the lights just went off on this piece. Means it's gonna get down soon. 32%. Um, it looks like the guns on the dragon are all going still good. Okay. I think that two player controlled destroyers is probably right about the limit of what I'd want to have. Any more than that, I'm going to want to buy enough of them at once so I can just make a big AI squadron. Because the more you try to control manually, the more inefficient it gets. Boom. strafe over a bit so they stop shooting the dead part, the live part. Okay. Get nice and lined up. Okay, looks like the plasmas are hitting well clear of the destroyed part. 19% haul remaining. This thing's go down soon. Looks like we have all the turrets firing at this. Like this is the top rear turret. And these four in this diamond pattern are the main forward guns. Are the main forward turrets. In other words, this one here, this one here, and then the two on the bottom in the same location. Um, I don't actually see fire from the bottom turret though. I wonder if I pitch up a little if it would start firing. There goes the top turret. The top turret is firing but missing. Bomb turret is not firing at all, so we'll pitch down some. Also, I think the side guns are out of range. Yeah, there we go. Ten percent haul for the station. The lights are off on both of the remaining um, defense pieces, I assume they are. So all they'll be left very soon here is the solar panel. And the dragon should have an angle on the solar panel already. It just needs to fire at it.
Six percent. Five percent. Fly in a little closer and hope the turrets start. The Xeon um, solar panels are kind of cool. Four percent all. Go turret start firing again. Explosion. Boom. Dragon took a little bit of shield damage from that. Sin. Solar power plant. Sin. Solar power if we were going to order the dragon to attack the station, we would have to uh, switch over to map mode. I'm too lazy to do that right now. It's not 1% haul. It'll die. Now kaboom. There we go. Yay. 98,000 scrap. And we have an S here that needs to go away. And a build storage. No build storage for you. Kind of interesting, apparently the Xeon can build stations without having to have a construction ship. I'm not gonna complain about it, it's just kind of interesting. It makes a certain amount of sense. Okay, Sin. the dragon needs to go over here so it can be close to the carbon broadhead. I'm going to enjoy sending you to the scrap heap. All right, and I personally will fly over here to make sure there are no Ks. There are no Ks, apparently it blew up already. Good deal. They're robots, right? Yeah, the Xeon are terraforming robots that decided they didn't want to terraform anymore. I don't know. I don't remember the exact lore of why they did and why. Container. 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 A lot of energy container. cells. You know what? I know somebody who could use those. Uh, let's see. The improvised backpack. Remove all orders. Click. Collect drops.
Does the imp improvised backpack have any cargo? No, it doesn't. Okay. Good deal. What are you doing? Okay, let's just order that to come down here and dismantle the station wreck now, I don't we? Object list. Okay. Apparently, they are indeed hauling scrap away almost as fast as we're producing it. Um, we don't have much scrap metal built up, though. Now we got... Apparently we need more tugs. <laughs> we are definitely low on energy cells, though. Okay. Things are looking somewhat comfortable at the moment. We've got this clump over here that needs to go away. So we'll take the wheelbarrow over there to deal with that. Matter of fact, let's have the captain take the wheelbarrow over there to deal with that. Um, there's the dragon. Where's the wheelbarrow? There's the wheelbarrow. Here. Just fly over there, dude. Okay. Okay. It looks like there's only one scrap cube here, but I'm not sure I believe that. I'm going to teleport to the on foot. Let's go check out this station. That's complaining that doesn't have a captain. That's fine. I don't need one for that. Um, where is the on foot? There it is. Behavior. Delete all. Teleport two. Out of my seat, please. Um, oops. Where is the dragon? Wheelbarrow, I mean. Okay, there's the wheelbarrow. Alright, the wheelbarrow is doing what I wanted to do. Raptor. Cube. Let's fly up here and check out what the station's going on. Supposedly it's chunked up, but I still see a station carcass there.
scrap cube. Apparently. You can scrap a station. Oh, it still has 291 scrap on board. <laughs> okay, that's not worth chunking up. Um, okay, the dragon's almost in position. Data. Let's fly down here and watch the scrap ship run a little bit. Okay. Awaiting orders. Dragons in position. Okay. Look at all that beautiful scrap in front of us. Okay. There's a Terran Asgard. I wonder if that's what happened to the um, K that was over there. Hey, what? Okay, there we go. All right. Um, there's still some energy cell containers there. Oh, this guy hasn't got there yet, that's why. Wilborough 2 is in location. Okay, remove all orders. Yeah, I guess just sit there and... Whoa, why are you way up in the air? Okay, those guys are way below the... Alright, not a problem then. Okay, remove all orders. Collect drop. Collect drop. Collect drop, collect drop, collect drop. There we go. Think we can fit all these energy cells into the improvised backpack? Anyway. Come on, guys, attack the dragon. Not dragon, wheelbarrow. Dragon's over here. Please don't attack the dragon. Solar power plant. 98,000 scrap. This thing is going to make 98 scrap cubes. Oh yeah, gotta love the Xeon. 
Um. Oh. Failed order stock cannot dock while towing. Wait, how many scrap cubes are in this pile? Is it just a whole load of scrap cubes piled around top of each other, weirdly? Because we were up here and there was only one scrap cube model floating in space. It must be it just dumped them all in one spot. Okay, that's weird. It's going to make it really hard to tell how many scrap cubes are there, though, that's for sure. How much money do we have? Nine million? Hmm. Question is, could I buy more hugs now that we actually have a decent working scrapping operation. I think the answer to should I buy more tugs is probably actually yes. Because we certainly have enough stuff to haul. Um, how much is this going to cost me? Buy medium. Manicore tugs. Tuggy boy 2 loadout. Three million a pop. We'll buy three of them, I guess. Oh, we can't buy three of them. We'll buy two of them then. Okay. We have one being constructed and one waiting to construct. Okay. That should get us to... Seven tugs? Sure, why not? How full is this guy? Oh, he's full. He can't pick up anything more. Alright. You fly over here. Transfer wares with the scrappy station. Dump your energy cells. Collect drop. Collect drop. Collect drop. Collect drop. And then go back, transfer wares, and we can't. Okay, cancel. Just fly back then when you're done. All right. Here comes a second scrap cube, and it actually properly collides, and yeah. Not sure if that really screams scrap to me, but I'm not sure how you would model it differently. Dang, drones are too fast to follow. It'd be kind of cool, although I can see why they didn't have them work like um, the mining drones do, where they actually pick up a piece and drag it back. Anyway. Oh, 
What shall we do next? Well, first we're going to kill the engines. Um... I'm tempted to move the carbon broadhead over here. That or take the wheelbarrow and place a whole bunch of laser towers in front of the gate. So these laser towers seem to be plugging this gate pretty effectively. That or the Xeon just aren't interested in coming through. Which could be a possibility. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to put some satellites on this side so we can see what's coming before it hits us. Um, Jump gate, morning star. Yeah, it's a bit far to thruster. There we go. Hello, Lord of Xeon. Nice to meet you. We definitely need to pump out a bunch of solar... Well, pump out a satellite and then come back across and pump out a bunch of Mark 1 laser towers. Entering system. Just to make things Morning a little more star. difficult. Okay, we're probably about the right distance to drop a advanced satellite. Okay. We'll go put one right there and then we'll put one right here and we'll have coverage of pretty much everywhere ships will be in this system. Empty space. Okay, and kill engines. We should have killed engines earlier. Okay, we'll put the next one right there. space. Remember to kill the engines earlier this time. I'm too used to the slower and more cumbersome destroyers. There's an accelerator up there I didn't know about. Where did that come from? Accelerator, Morning Star, four. Oh, no, wait. Maybe we do know about that one. Okay. Weird. Anyway, we do know about the existence of that. All right, let's go back. Uh, 
And there we go. See how things are going back home. Looks like this has been cleared up a lot. Um, I should probably teleport over to the wheelbarrow and hoover up all this Press loot. Entering system. A take last choice. We'll leave you on foot here by the um... Sin N. Well, here by this big clump of ships. Teleport to the wheelbarrow. Give me all the loot. Okay. of the loot. Requesting immediate backup. All of the loot. No loot left behind. Okay. There we go. I think we have a new Manticore. Yes, we do. Sign him to Gamma Group. All right. How is the building going here? Um, it's going very slowly. Awaiting orders. Energy cells. We're actually producing more than we're consuming at the moment, but I think that's because of a scrap shortage, not anything else. Wait. We have a whole load of scrap metal in stock and these guys aren't working why I don't know whatever Oh, that's why they're not producing. We're full up on hall parts. <laughs> oh, uh, 
that's unfortunate. Thirty thousand. Automatic pricing is on. We do have incoming ships coming in to buy some. Electronics. Automatic pricing is on. Um, we might have to assign some more freighters to go sell stuff. Okay, you. What are your orders? Auto trade. He's trade for build storage. We don't need that. I don't have any more ships set for... Okay. Well, clearly this needs to be set to just trade. We don't need anybody trading for the build storage because the build storage is full, I think. Or not full, but it has everything it needs to have. Yeah. It's got everything it needs and then some. Okay. Claytronics, energy cells, hall parts, anchor space, allowed four gates. Okay. He doesn't have any restrictions. Vector activity. Let's make sure we turn this off. Just in case. Surely there's some place that needs hall parts. Um. Maybe there isn't anybody who needs hall parts. Are there any Argon ships that we need or want? Maybe we should buy a large miner. How much is this going to cost us? Five million? Uh, no it's not. We are going to need an ice miner eventually, but not for a while yet. Well, clearly... Yeah, I've only got four million. Clearly I need to go make more money. It will borrow. Fly over there. Okay. Teleport to the on foot. Dragon Raider. Okay, I think we are going to have to go to 18 billion and do a little bit of piracy to make some money. Or, I mean, not piracy. Police actions. There we go. Autopilot engaged. It's totally not piracy, guys. It's police action. Because they are some kind of mafia-like group who has been paid to kill somebody, namely me. And therefore, me capturing their ships is just arresting them. 
It's perfectly above board. Anyway, while this flies, I'm going to run upstairs and grab a water bottle. So BRB. Entering system. Silent witness. Entering system, 18 billion. Autopilot, disengaged. All right, we appear to be where we're supposed to be, hopefully. Awaiting orders. Empty space. Yeah, okay. We are at the right place. That's a lot of mines. I wonder who placed those. Okay. Tonios E. Mineral. That's the bobby pin. AKA one of my biggest money makers. <laughs> oh no, no one's in the pilot seat. Yeah. Don't worry. Chair had control. <laughs> All right, we just need a Barbarossa to come in at a nice spot Waiting for orders. me to go jump it. Um, let's see. For that matter, where is the red box? It's down there. There's plenty of Barbarossas in the area as well. Barbarossa. Early. It is time to go harvest the natural increase. Hey, you better not be shooting my miner. Nope, he's just docked. We'll wait for him to leave the dock before we um, have our little visit. After all, we want him clear of our miner before problems begin. And it would be impolite for us to um, shoot a visitor at this fine station. Let's see if we can get an engine selected before he gets out of here. Buzzard, Sentinel, Barbarossa. There we go.
Yeah, just keep flying clear of the station, don't worry. There's nobody who has any kind of interest on your engines behind you. Looks like he has two big turrets. We might have to start capturing some of these Barbarossas for our own use. Apparently they are well regarded as um, just all around pretty great high speed freighters. Select the... There we go. Danger. Come on. There we go. What the heck? But all. Okay, we need to get out of here before we take too much damage. Settle and fire. All damaged. There we go. Finally. <clears throat> I could have gone much better. Pop up. Boom. Go down. We should scan this thing. So that way the turrets will be marked in red. Select the there we go. Requesting immediate backup. All right. Select the turret behind the thing. There we go. Now we just have the side turrets. Of which one is right there. Settle and fire. Roll over. The other side turret is right there. Rise and settle and fire. Kaboom. I do believe the turrets are all gone. No repair drones apparently. Okay, I spoke too soon. Stop your attack immediately. Now we have no repair drones. Reporting an attack against this vessel. This is sector security. Comes channel open. Reporting They're launching a uh, laser tower. We're trying to launch a laser tower. <laughs> Seventy nine, there we go. All right, red box, you are right here. Fly over here, board. Send in all the recruits. Start operation. Teams preparing for launch. Okay. 
Okay, ka-ching. We just made a bunch of money. Or we will in a second here anyway. Check the engines. Uh, ha-ha, you're not allowed to do that. Okay. There's a large miner. I'm almost tempted to capture it, but these things don't sell for very much. And mm, by the time we got it refitted, and yeah, I prefer the um, what y'all call them miners. There's another Barbarossa, but it's way over near side of the system. Oh, I should teleport aboard the red box and get it into position. Let us disarm our turrets. We don't have to worry about anything weird going on. Here. Autopilot disengaged. I really need to install the AI mod. One of the things it's supposed to do is make it so that ships engage their travel drives later when approaching it, or keep them engaged longer when approaching enemies. I'm not sure if this freighter has the largest cruise size amongst freighters, but it's got pretty close to it, if not the most. 